Yo ho ho sha! What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD, and today I have a confession about my undefeated Odin deck. First of all, it's not really my deck. It's actually Max's deck from Moon Men TCG. If you guys haven't checked them out, definitely check them out. They do great, awesome, excellent content. Very entertaining, guys. Fire thumbnails also. But he posted a deck list a while back, and I was like, yo, I want to play Odin. And I built a couple versions of it, but wasn't really like super jazzed about it. So I got his list, made a couple modifications. And then I played my friend Steve in my attic three times and I didn't lose any. So I thought that the deck was undefeated. So I took it to locals. And I lost my first game at locals, but, 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 but I only lost because I suck. No, I made a really big misplay and there's something to learn from this misplay. So I wanted to talk about what the misplay was in my confession about my undefeated Odin deck, which is like, it's just a deck, you know, it's a good, it's a good deck. I think Odin has a super, super high ceiling, but, um, I like haven't piloted it that much. I still have things to learn, but what happened basically was I had Okiku and a Rizo on board and Okiku is a 5k Rizo is a 4k. I put a Dawn on Okiku and I had plenty of Dawn left to put on stuff. And I saw he had two Dawn up and I knew he was going to counter with a Red Hawk. I was really just trying to rest his blocker and get Okiku's effect. But stupidly, I swung without putting the Dawn on Rizo. And when he used the Red Hawk, the Red Hawk popped the Rizo. Now, if I had put a Dawn on Rizo, Rizo would have been a 5K and Red Hawk wouldn't have hit Rizo and I didn't have any other targets for Red Hawk. So he only would have gotten the 4K boost and not the removal. Now, Red Hawk, I think, is the best 2K counter in set one because it has removal. So if somebody plays a blocker, uh, you're at, like if they misplay and play the blocker early and you counter with a Red Hawk, you just remove their blocker. It's just removal is so, 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 so strong and you can really punish your opponents for miscountering or it kind of forces them to use the blocker on a turn if they play it and you're saving a Red Hawk to Red Hawk their blocker on the next turn. So that was my misplay. And then once I lost Rizo, I lost that draw and I lost so much momentum because he just kind of outplayed me with character cards. He was playing Zoro, so he just kind of pressured me down. I didn't have much to deal with it, but it was a great win and it was a great story because I I've his like really good friend, Ale, my homie, if you're out there watching this, um, we've had a grudge match. I, they've all been really, really close games. And I think every time we played, we were both playing kid um, and they were like really close games. We started playing at the super pre-release and he actually played my mom, I think in the first round of the super pre-release. And then I played him and we played a couple times at locals and they were close games. I got the games, but it was his buddy that beat me with my undefeated Odin deck with his Zoro deck. So he got to avenge his friend and I was so proud of him. I gave him a coin and a card and congratulated him and appreciated the hard work he put in for humbling me and making sure I knew my place as not the best because you can't learn anything when you're the best. So it's good to lose, learn from your mistakes. There's a lot I learned from that game. Oh, also, I had a beige in hand and I had two Dawn up and I only had a uh, Paradise Waterfall in hand and I don't have any more than 1k counters in my deck or one drop counters in my deck. So I totally could have just played the beige and I just didn't. Um, I've been printing a lot more cards and playing with cards lately. So apparently I suck at card games right now, but I'm going to get better. I, you can get better if you practice and put in the time, you can get better at card games. So I'm going to hang out with Holly. Holly, if you're around, I'm excited to hang out with you this weekend and grind a little bit, get ready for the treasure cup because I am going to Miami and California for the treasure cup for sure. If you're going to be there, I'm so excited to see you. Please come up and ask to say hi to me. I love saying hi to people. I love giving high fives and I really like posing in pictures. So if you have a phone and you want to take a picture, I want a picture also. I love to take pictures with people. There's a chance I might even have some treasure in my pocket or something weird like that. But um, a lot of you liked the leaders that I was showing in the last video. So I thought I'd show a couple more of my custom leaders. Um, I haven't done a deck profile on Kaido because I don't think I'm great at playing purple, but eventually I think I will do a deck profile on him. And these leaders, I actually print the uh, leader text on the case. Um, and then I have my Odin, which you may have seen in my Odin deck profile. And also I have another Odin art. Um, this is the other Odin art. Both of the art, these arts I commissioned. Some of these I find on Pinterest, some of them I commissioned. This is a Zoro art that's like, this is from the manga, but I, um, 
throw a woodblock print back there. I have this theory that Japanese trading cards are like modern day woodblock prints. So I'm trying to put that, that's why I put on the back of all the cards. I put the great wave over my face to put it in people's face. Uh, this is red, green Luffy with Katakuri. I like this one a lot. This card's really cool. I also low key think that this leader might be a sleeper leader. I made another friend at locals and his brother mentioned one card in this deck and i was like oh my god that's gross so i tried building it and i kind of like it so i'm gonna mess with that list a little bit and if i can get some success with it and go undefeated in my attic i might make an undefeated <laughs> deck profile video but you know you gotta get people to click on your video somehow it's just kind of how youtube is and it, it performed well and a lot of people actually really like the video there's one person that was like dude i hate undefeated videos and he should i think clickbait is crap but you know sometimes yadosh can i right anyway um i haven't opened any of my tournament packs yet and i have um one a uh, couple i guess the two out of the three locals that i played and i just haven't had much time to play at locals but i haven't opened any of my participation i haven't opened any of my tournament packs so i thought it'd be fun to open some winter packs and tournament packs here uh, to end this little video with some shrimpums. So here is tournament pack one, and all these cards are like hot value. I don't have my other camera set up, so I figured I'd just do it this way. This is how you pull Law Kaido. That's pretty good. That's really good, actually. Kaido's Kaido. This Kaido is very, very, very strong. Um, but I think Law. I think I need. I want to put a Law in my Dofi deck. I think Law is pretty, pretty cool. Um, and this is how you pull Law Kaido again. Wow, two Kaidos. Well, I mean, I might actually play two. I think he would be a two of. But if I pull another one, then I would be I will be uh, sad because I really want to show you guys how to pull a law. Yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you pull law. That's how you pull law right out of the pack. That's nasty. This card's really cool because it burns your opponent life basically. You just pay six and on play. Um, if they have six or more cards in hand, you like bump a life into their hand, which is kind of good. I think that's pretty good. Um, this should be Luffy. I think it's about time to pull Luffy. Is this Luffy? You Luffy! Yatta! That's how you do it. That's how you pull cards. I got double Kaido. Okay, now on the winners, I would like a Law winner. So I, I will show you how to pull a Law winner. Uh, just like this, you strip it and you pull Law out of the Luffy pack. This is good though, because this is he's this is the 2K. Yeah, this is a 2K counter. It's kind of kind of good card. Um, look, just so you can see like the winner versus the regular one it's kind of cool they like made the art a little bit different and put the winner stamp on it i don't know why they're not foil that seems like a misplay to me but you know it'd be like that sometimes i think yamato is the worst one in this but i like the yamato art the best but this would be really cool if it was a law actually i don't think it's gonna be a law it might be a yamato law yes yes Sometimes you just gotta believe in yourself, just like that. Got my two laws. So those are all my tournament packs. I hope you guys enjoyed this post shrimp uh, video about my mistake. And I hope you learned something from this mistake because the sequence in which you play things, how you assign Dawn, um, remember when you put Dawn on a character, they're gonna be that power on your turn so they will get around effects that hit at a certain power. For example, the Red Hawk and Rizo. If Rizo had a Dawn on him, he would have been 5K. And if he Red Hawked, it wouldn't have been able to get remove the Rizo. So make sure you sequence right play smart and play for fun and then you've already won i am a dentist i can't end without doing a dental tooth tip so my dental tooth tip to you would be sonicare protective clean 7100 i think that's the best toothbrush and power toothbrushes are not regular toothbrushes like a tooth wand you have to use a different technique you just kind of hold it and let the bristles do all the work because the bristles are vibrating so you just like move it tooth to tooth you know if you use a washing machine to wash your clothes you should be using a power toothbrush to wash your teeth the same thing that's life upgrade thank you so much and i'll see you guys next time